So I'm currently gathering some ideas um, for a pedal board build I've got coming up later in the year, basically. And I feel like over the last six months, I've sort of been honing down on what I actually sound like. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I think you can fall down a rabbit hole when building pedal boards, or I certainly have fallen down this rabbit hole, of trying to cover everything, trying to cover every type of overdrive, every type of delay, modulation, and in the end, in the process of that, you sort of lose a bit of identity, I think. So I've really been trying to hone down on what I use all the time and what I want to sound like, narrowing down my group of drive pedals, especially into something that I can use to sound like me. And I've kind of broken that down into three categories for myself. The first kind of category of drive that I like on a board is a preamp style drive. Then I like to move on to something that I call my core drive, a bass tone, a bass overdrive sound that I build the rest of my sound on, whether I'm stacking with other overdrives. The final overdrive I like to have on a board is a more classic, I guess, guitar player's overdrive. You, it's your clones, it's your blues breakers, it's your tube screamers. I do like to have one of those on a board. And for this new board that I'm building, I feel like I have those latter two sorted, which left a spot for a preamp drive. And uh, it's kind of one preamp overdrive that has been floating around for the past couple of years that I've never tried. It's gonna be the Benson preamp. I actually didn't know that there was a germanium version of the preamp either. I believe it's relatively new. You know, I listened to one or two demos, did a bit of research, and I thought that's the one I wanted to go for, and uh, managed to get one second hand, and it's, it's really good. <laughs> this is my Heritage H535 custom core, which I'm absolutely in love with. It's a dream guitar for me into the Germanium preamp from Benson and then into my Victory V40 Duchess with a tiny, tiny bit of reverb. So I like, I like my amp just hairy enough that it kind of gets pushed by these sorts of pedals. Um, and this is everything at 12 o'clock. sounds excellent. There's the two things that have sort of struck me while I've been getting to know it. The way that it breaks up is not like a, another overdrive pedal. It's not smooth, it's crispy, and I like that. The second thing, and it's probably the biggest thing about the Benson preamp and what I've heard specifically about the Germanium one, is just how warm it is. It still has a clarity, but it is just, it's so warm. Like that, that that's that's the that's the word for it. You can start to bring in a bit of bite or you know a bit of more of a flubby low end with the treble and bass controls, but straight up down the middle, it's just a warm blanket that I really have enjoyed using with other pedals, but also just as a tone just to chi chime along with some chords. <laughs> Thank you. 
find a bad sound out of it then i think that's one thing to take away from it is that no matter where you set the controls it's gonna have a usable sound in it whether you just want like an always on tone sweetener a bit of a clean boost or probably where i'm going to use it as like a a low gain preampy crispy overdrive with good texture or it can do the fuzz thing as well it's really cool pedal really cool pedal i can see why so many people have loved it i can see why chase bliss kind of took this uh, design and ran with it. There you go, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Benson Germanian preamp. I dig it, I really dig it.